Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Been a while since I made a pre-recorded video, but this is a video I had planned for a bit and it is about a topic that has been talked about quite a bit. But after our terms of exper experiments and verifying everything within the game code, we can finally confirm that we figure out how the, how the Vault Hunters relic work. And it is actually a really good relic, which is something I didn't expect to say within this current year. So I will be providing some pictures of the in-game code to clarify how the relic actually works. At first we thought it boosted how much blues you get by 5% and then it removes 60% of the whites as you can see from the screenshots. While the latter part is true, the 5% on the display of the relic is actually just for there for show. The meat of the relic is the fact that it removes 60% of the whites in general. That's what makes it a really good relic. We tried increasing the values of blues to insane values like 900 million or something and we saw nothing actually no change or nothing because that value was just there for display just to tell you that it just increases increases the, the loot chances by five percent but it actually does nothing to, but while uh, the other value the one that removes whites tried increasing that to insane values and we just uh we saw that all the whites are gone with major regards of getting better quality gear in general. It buffs things by proxy, meaning that if there are less items, the higher your chances of getting rare items, and this applies to everything, all the way up to legendaries. It's like removing water from wine. It just makes it more al alcoholic. This only affects world drops from chests and enemies, not specific enemies like bunkers, chances of dropping a bitch, for example. And this affects stacks with more players on the game, meaning you can remove 240% of the whites in general from the loot pool because the effect is like 100% just half set and 200%, you know, it's like it, it's like that. It's not just 100% meaning you won't get any whites. And you'll be barely seeing any, any of them around, as I just said. And it majorly increases the chances of you getting a world drop, as the base chance of getting a legendary from our item enemy is 1 out of a hundred or eleven thousand percent sorry not percent one out of eleven thousand sorry my script is a bit weird a single relic brings it down to one out of seven thousand if Saxon brings it down to one out of four thousand which is huge by the way that's half the chance of it if you have four of these relics on this also boosts the cobra chances of dropping i know just i'll probably get a lot of controversy about this but hear me out you may have even noticed that some of the players on the high have been running around with the Vault Hunters of Relic Farmer for one. Because this was an experiment we wanted to, to see because, as I said, having less whites, meaning you'll proc the chances of whatever is higher in the loop pool. It's not the, it's not the blues that, that are dropping, that's not, that's not it. Meaning that the game will run through less checks in order to get the Cobra. Meaning it majorly does increase the drop rates and the theory was proven right. Most of the players in the hunt who ran with the Vault Hunters are like have gotten the Cobra within 30 minutes versus the hours and days of sadness that you spend on getting one. This is another reason the community patch received an update of 4.0.12 because we buffed the Vault Hunters Relic to display the uh, or the display value. It had, it had nothing to do with the Relic which did nothing. It was just a redundant uh, things like pa it's like making the infinities reload faster. That's the kind of fix we did. Uh, so we just reverse it back. I do hope I provided some proof on this ha on how this actually worked. I hope I wasn't vague because I'm afraid of doing that because I really suck at making videos. But I'm trying. I'll be answering some questions in the comment sections. Should you guys have any? Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys later.